Alright. <clears throat> Alright. So, sixth episode. Last time we plotted up a uh, train robbery, and today we're gonna execute it. So, excited for that. Let's see how that goes. Man, this game is so cool. Yeah. Alright, that was weird. Arthur! Oh, Arthur! Are you seem in a good mood? I am, son. I am. Let's have some fun. Tonight. Let's enjoy ourselves. We having a party? Maybe. Just a little one. Great. Even you. Mr. McGuire is back. Well, so come on. Let's have a party. The party. And don't you worry, Miss Grimshaw, y'all crone. I'll keep them girls in line. If I have to rip them, I will. And don't you worry, Mr. Pearson, you drunk old shitbag. It'll be nothing but the, the finest game in the pot. Now, Deadly Maguire is back. <laughs> and don't worry about nothing, Mrs. Grimshaw. We'll have this camp running like clockwork. <laughs> I love you, bastards. <laughs> have fun. Have lots of fun. <laughs> Even you, you grumpy old bastard, Arthur. She says, young man, you're rather free. Or as diddle, diddle, diddle all day. I put my arm around her waist. Hark well what I do say. She says, young man, you're in great haste. Or diddle, diddle, diddle all day. I put my hand upon her thigh. Hark well what I do say. She says, you're pretty. Diddle, diddle, diddle all day. John mentioned this train job. I don't know what I'm doing, I'm just going from beer crate to beer crate. I can press night or something. I need to press morning. Oh, well, it's morning, kinda. Trying to travel through here, Christ Almighty. Come here. I'm the fuck you. Thank you. Let's go, girl. Going on a quick hunt, and then we're gonna start the mission. That's on the Fuck. Yep. Okay, girl. Ah, there you go. You? Got everything we need. Good. I think we need another man. Charles? I'll go get him. Meet us at the wagon when you can. Sure. See you, Arthur. Ain't that dumb. <laughs> Next time, let the wolves eat all your brain. Then you'll be a genius. <laughs> Who did you call a goddamn drunkard? Here it is. Thank you. Good evening. I got no idea. Alright, let's get this going. Yeah. Oh, that's a 
that's a lot of foxes. What the hell? Or are those coyote? Coy coyote. Fucking hell. Coyotes. Did the university send you? Excuse me? Because if they did, they can get lost. <laughs> I have never been so insulted in all my life. Really? Laughter. Balderdash. What are you doing? Are you quite certain you're not a spy? A spy? Those wretches will do anything to destroy me. My theories are correct, and I can prove it. What theories? I am the leading amateur paleontologist in the nation, and not one university will hire me because, unlike them, I actually have ideas. <laughs> you're a what? I study dinosaurs. You know, big lizards. Are they real? Of course they're real, you nincompoop. Oh. And everywhere. Everywhere? This state <laughs> was once a vast, shallow sea that had the most incredible animal that could walk, swim, and fly. Quite unique. I call it Totalisaurus. Just for now. <laughs> Um, Miss Deborah McGinnis. Arthur. Good to meet you. Uh, could you give me a hand here, please? Of course. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, if you find any of these bones around the country, send them to my homestead at Furwood Rise in Cumberland Forest. Or mail me the locations. I'll reward you handsomely for your efforts. Sure. Why not? And we'll be proving a lot of stuck-up buffoons very, very wrong. Which, trust me, is the very best thing about science. Good day to you, sir. It was, it was kind of funny. Arthur would be like, everywhere? I'd see them flying around. Yeah, but if dinosaurs... And dinos would live today, that would be real fucking scary for us. I'm glad the current oxygen levels on our planet are not enough for them to survive, otherwise we would be having mad problems. What is he doing? Shit. <clears throat> ah, well, at least it ain't your job. Ah, shut up, Arthur. Yeah, your job's starting the fights. You ain't winning them. I can scrap, Arthur. I'm just not good at homework. I can see. Besides, what do you care, Englishman? You've got no time for me. I tried to find your work, but then you're off cutting jobs with other folks, and your boy Sean doesn't get a look in. Guess I don't want to get shot, that's all. Yeah, you're a real fucking funny shit, Arthur Morgan, huh? Real fucking funny. Calm down. You better sleep with your eyes open. Yeah, well, you're gonna sleep with your chest open if you ain't careful, boy. <laughs> I love you, Arthur Morgan. I love you. Come on, take a shot. Come on, take your best shot, please, eh? Grow up. And let me come on the raid, witches. Raid? Don't be playing coy with me, son. It's unbecoming. That bloody train you and him has set up. What you're doing out here, you're going to need guns. You're going to need men. Oh, that. So Marston told you? It ain't a big show. I need calmness. If I take you, I might as well bring Micah along. Now compare me to that oily tort again. You're a dead man. <laughs> Fair enough. What are you doing here, kid? I'm coming, John. On the job. I said you weren't coming. Yeah, well, Arthur says I am. And it's his party, boy, so come on, let's go. <laughs> Me and the big cheeses. Love it. Can't wait to slit some bastard's throat. You sure about this? No. <laughs> are we ready? Yeah. Train's due through tonight. All right, then. It's on. Charles? I'm ready. Gentlemen! Let's go earn some money. Yep. Yeah. Hey. Let's go. All the horses untethered? I think so. Good. They should follow on behind us. You find a good spot, Wolfman? Yeah. 
Follow the trail southwest. There's a spot that's remote, but should still give them enough time to spot the oil wagon. They see this block in the tracks, they'll stop soon enough. Apparently, picks up a new team of guards at the state line, so shouldn't be too much in the way of guns to deal with. See, this is what I mean. I disappear for a couple of weeks and you cut me out of all the action. Just the action that requires a brain. Ha <laughs> oh, ha you're a funny fella, John Marston. And my folks, eh? You had your feet up the whole time, playing sick, and fondling that new scar, like you're gonna buy a breakfast in the morning. You don't know what you're talking about. Stay close on this. Wouldn't want you getting scratched by a squirrel or something. They're left here, towards Rose. <laughs> Come on, get up here, goofball. I know you've been hit by a street siren. Come on, dude. There you go. <laughs> Sorry, John. Too much trouble for what we got. <laughs> I just had to test it out. Yeah, takes a whole army of bounty hunters to bring in Sean McGuire. And look at me now. Oh, in yeah. that gunner sea. <laughs> Back in business, boys. <laughs> you know, my dad always used to say. Not the dog, no, please. Not this oh. again. Hey, slow it down. Fine. Damn you, tree. Sulky, angry, scar face. A right barrel of laughs. So, we blocked the tracks with the wagon, then jump them. That's the plan. Pretty much. Charles, you deal with the engineer. John, secure the passenger car fast, take charitable donations, and make sure everyone behaves. Little Mr. McGuire, focus on the baggage car. Grab any valuables you can find. Shoot your mouth and get a bullet back. So, what are you doing? I'll run one. Keep an eye out for outriders and the law. Help you three where I can. All right for some. Huh? Cherry picking, I call that. Here's good. Stop the wagon over the tracks. Remember, these are innocent folks. We handle this right. Nobody needs to die here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Mr. Marsh. Mr. Smith. Mr. McGuire, come! Get over there. When she slows, order. And you? I'm gonna make sure she slows. I'll do or die with you. <laughs> I like it. Get moving. Sick is better than a dead lady. I'm losing my goddamn patience. 
Let's just do what he says so this can be over. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a robbery. Let's make this quick. You boys need me? No. You go ahead and look for the baggage car. Tough guy, huh? Hey, Jack. You sure about Fire. that? Quick, come on! Come on. You can do this. Just put the Everything you got. Money. Valuables. We ain't leaving until this bag's full. You won't get a damn cent from me. Let me hand you over to my friend then. Come on. Be smarter. Put it now! Oh, son of a bitch. Come on, cut it up, people. Don't be shy. Please don't help me. Everything you got. Let's go. I can handle this from here. You should check on Sean. Okay. What is it? You all right? Fill the baggage car. You hear me? For Christ's sake, you ain't even taking a look yet? There's probably something in here, Arthur. A chance of hitting someone. <laughs> Very funny. Oh, oh. I'm gonna have a right old lump on me head. At least you ain't got a hole in it. Are those tennis rackets in there? Oh, bastards. Just keep your eyes peeled. We'll deal with these best, all right. I know, that's what's worrying me. Problem. There's two assholes on horses. How many you say? I just see a pair of them. Uh, in that case, we're fighting. Marshal Smith, get ready. You men come out the train now, do you hear? We said you men come out now. There's only two of you, you fools. We got a whole lot less to lose. Why don't the two of you ride away? That way, neither you get killed. Goddamn liberties. Eh? There's a few more than torn enough. Big mouth. Okay, let's deal with them. Last chance. We'll get around the left. Here comes the friends. And we got more coming from the trees there. John. God damn it. <sighs> All right. Who's left behind? Yeah. Ah, shit, there it comes.
I see someone left behind again. The fuck, bro? Come on. It's a fucking hole up. Just follow me. Of course. Of course John has died again. We can see what they call you the professionals in the outfit. Shut <laughs> up. At least we made some money. Hey, what did I get? Got to be a hundred dollars here. Very nice. You weren't even invited. <laughs> what now? <laughs> we still need a real big take. Enough for us to get out of here. Was that a setup? Law turned up real fast. I don't know. I don't think so, but I'm starting to get nervous. Think they followed us from Blackwater? Maybe. They found me already near Horseshoe, but I think this law was just locals. I hope so. I'm gonna head into Valentine, see if I can get something started there. Good idea. Either way, we should all go it alone right now. You know the deal. Don't be followed. Uh, of course not, boss. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Man. I'm gonna just ride back to camp for now. Alright, I'm gonna end off this episode here. It was kind of fun. And uh, yeah, I see you guys in the next one. Peace out and see you.